Hello folks, welcome back. My name's Chris. Today we're we'll taking a look at a piece of gear that's a little bit off the uh, beaten track, as it were. This is actually a British company, um, Arctis. These are the Ranger Trouser uh, model C318A, which if you do want to actually order them is uh, the number you'll need to know. Now, as you can see, there's, there's, a, there's no two ways of putting it. These are basically the cry style combat trouser uh, cut. Um, certainly very similar in an awful lot of aspects. Now, Arctis make these um, in quite an interesting selection of colors and camo patterns. Obviously, Cry, you know, they do the, they do a few plain colors and they do their range of different multicams. And there's a couple other companies that have done them in a few other colors. And then, you know, different SF guys have got them in like their specific countries camos. Um, but there isn't, there isn't a great deal of these being, this style trouser being made uh, in some of the less common European camouflage patterns. And certainly in this case, we've got temperate DPM, which is uh, obviously the British military's previous camouflage pattern or one of them. And before MTP came in, we had this. Uh, this was sort of the British equivalent of US woodland. Uh, the Irish used it, uh, various other Commonwealth countries, some African nations. Um, actually a fairly common pattern around the world DPM and uh, when I saw Arctis were actually making this style of trouser in this pattern I just I had to pick up a set because uh, it just it's, it's such such an unusual thing to see and I just I just really fancy some. Um, on a basic level the features are pretty much like cry you've got a padded waistband you've got these nice big belt loops it doesn't have the stitch here with an, a separate hanger, but you've got these big belt loops and you can hang stuff off them. You've got Velcro closure tab up here. You've got a nice quality zipper for your fly. Um, we've got stretch panel in the groin area. We've got panels, uh, pockets, sorry, small pockets just above the knee area on both sides. Stretch material for the knees, the knee pad pockets, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. And then there is a, a Velcro ankle cuff down at the bottom problem with the knee pockets you're looking at these and maybe on first inspection you're probably thinking you can put the cry knee pads in here the g3 pads airflex no they don't fit i i did ask arctis when i ordered these whether they would they said yes turn out they don't um i checked with multiple sets of cry pads with the ac pads uh, with a couple of different sets of g3s the, they do not go in here it's not the biggest issue in the world because these actually, although you can't see it so much, these actually come with a pad. There's a there's a hard plastic insert behind this piece of fabric and there's padding behind it. So there's actually a knee pad already in there, velcroed in, which you can remove. I took them out, tried to put the cry pads in and uh, for starters, this actual section down here is too short. The, uh, the neoprene that comes below the cry pads doesn't fit. I thought, okay, I'll fold it upwards behind the pad and maybe I'll be able to cram it in. Nope. This actual opening, it's the right shape, but it's too small. The actual the stitching around the plastic pad on the cries, it cannot physically fit in there. I couldn't get it to anyway. Um, and comparing these trousers to some cries I've got, they do seem to be smaller. So, yeah, that's... Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping in future Arctis are gonna change their pattern, their cut on these so that they will take the cry pads, although possibly cry have a patent on it. So they might not, we'll see what happens with that. Going around to the back. Again, as with the cries, you got some big belt loops, particularly large one in the center there. You got a stretch panel in the back, so you got a really good free wide range of motion with these. And you've got uh, some, some rear slash pockets there good size they've got velcro all the way along rather than having little pieces that a lot of um, american apparel makers they just have like a couple of tabs of velcro this has a plus side and a downside it's harder to actually access when you especially if you've got like thick gloves on your hands are cold it's raining whatever actually getting into that when it's proper velcro down especially when they're new that's going to be tricky and uh, it, it seems odd to say when you just stood here and you know it's like yeah how how uh, how hard is it to do that um, but uh, I've, I've seen it before when when you've got a large amount of velcro on a pocket when you you're in some uh, adverse weather conditions it can actually be a bit of a nose um, however the upside is security whatever you're going to put in there if you put smaller objects in there there's way less opening for them to actually fall out of so there's more security there 
So upsides and downs depends what you want to carry. The thigh pockets themselves, these are these are pretty beastly pockets, right? They, they're actually triple billowed. So they'll sit really flat when they're empty and then they will expand out um, huge, like there's a huge amount of extra capacity in there. They've gone with the with the Canadian buttons, the Canadian as they as they're often referred to. So you've got a tape, tape button as they're often called, and then they're covered. And that's similar to the PCS uh, NTP uniform. Um, again, it's not very easy to access. I'm not. Sh I'm a bit undecided on that because I don't like the buttons on PCS uniform, the the current British military issue stuff. It's quite hard to actually access, you know, toggle the buttons and, and get them open. Um, the the previous gen and the previous British military uniforms, the CS95, which was in this DPM, um, the buttons were just like that. They didn't have this extra layer of fabric over the top and they were a lot easier to use, but then they could also snag on stuff. So this eliminates that snag hazard, a little bit trickier to get into. Uh, so it's probably for the best overall, but it's, it's one of those things where you don't notice that you don't snag on things, if that makes sense. Whereas you do notice that they're a bit fiddly to get into, but in reality, I think um, getting rid of that snag hazard is probably quite good because those those buttons on the CS95, I personally had it myself. Any sort of um, any sort of a camo net, anything like that, they would as soon as you got near it, those buttons would just wrap right in there and you'd be fucking stuck, and it'd be really tricky to unravel sometimes. So yeah, behind the knee pads, Velcro adjustment on both sides, so you can tighten those down, and then like I said, you got Velcro on the on the ankle cuff. The material's really nice. Uh, this is a sort of a ripstop DPM that I've not actually seen before. I, the pattern and the colours are exactly on um, to issued stuff, but the materials are a slightly different fabric to what I've seen before. Now, Arctis say these are waterproof. Not tested that yet. We'll find out. Uh, I, I'm going to guess sort of more water resistant. Um, and the uh, the stitching is top notch as far as I can tell. Uh, you've got. I mean, there's areas like around here, in the crotch area, where like every time you kneel, obviously this is going to be really have a lot of exertion put on it. Uh, and that's triple stitched all in there. Two layers of stitching around the knees. All the other stitching's really straight. You've got some bar tacks and reinforcements in various places. Uh, down here at the bottom of the knees where you're going to have a lot of force exerted. Um, everything else looks dead straight. You know, I, whenever I get a new piece of gear, new piece of camo clothing, whatever, any sort of backpack, pouch, anything. I take a fair amount of time and I look over every single stitch that's actually gone into it. And uh, I've not noticed any problems so far, so it seems good. Like I say, you can uh, check out these and uh, various other camos and stuff that Arctis makes uh, on their website. I'll, I'll leave their website down the link below. If you wanna order some, um, you just email them. You can't like just buy straight off the website the usual way. You email them and uh, you go that, through that way. They do, um, they do green, coyote, grey, which is quite cool. Then they've got the DPM. They've got French camo. They've got their own sort of version of multicam. They've got some Arctic camos. Uh, a couple of other sort of very niche European ones. Um, and it's definitely interesting. Uh, being able to get those colors in this style is, uh, is quite, I was surprised when I saw it, I'd say, so that's what, that's why I ordered these pretty much straight away when I saw them. If you want to keep up to date on what happens on the channel and various other stuff, I have a Facebook page I post on every day uh, and Instagram as well, but down in the description box, check those out. And uh, if you like the video, hit the old thumbs up and stuff if you would. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you next time.